Over the last 10 to 12 years, fifth wheels have become incredibly popular. And yeah, no wonder. There's lots of room in them, there's slide outs, they're easily maneuverable, but um, there is kind of a problem about all that. And the problem is that they're long and they're heavy. And it takes, you know, a big truck to kind of move them around. But that's going to change. There's a new trend out there to make them lighter. Most fifth wheels are 35 to 40 feet long, weighing 12,000 pounds or more. To tow them demands a three-quarter or one-ton truck. Well, here's the answer to that problem, a smaller fifth wheel. This is the Keystone Cougar 2100 RK. The length, 26 feet, 3 inches. The height, just a little bit over 12 feet. It can have two air conditioners, so 12.7 if you have the second air conditioner. The weight of this thing, 6,800 pounds, which means... You could actually tow this with a half-ton truck uh, with the length and the weight that the, this fifth wheel is. So is this a big trend? It is a, a huge trend. Who is this aimed at? Weekend campers. This is the... The, the campers that thought that they had to get a travel trailer because of size and didn't realize that they could get that small of a fifth wheel. And now they can go out, uh, have a little more space inside, more storage on the exterior as well. This is for those uh, couples that want to just get out and go. Now, we switched to a fifth wheel about a year and a half ago because of the extra room. But what's amazing to us is, even in these smaller fifth wheels, just how much room there is. Let's go inside. When I walk in, the first thing I see is the kitchen. How many times do you walk in and you need something from the kitchen area? Well, it's right here. Dishes, silverware, glasses, anything you need. Sink, walk through, microwave, three burners, oven, near residential refrigerator, big freezer area, refrigerator, following around the spacious living area. We have a sofa that makes into a bed. This is on a slide. So you have that extra room. We have windows, the little side window, which is nice when you're sitting here. When I sit down here, I look and there is the television. Easy to see right there. Table, bench that's comfortable. And also that table will come down and you could sleep a couple little people there. Lots of storage. Oh, and my favorite thing, hooks. Seems like we always have things that we need to hang up and have them handy. See the pantry? Shelves are deep. Go back a long ways. Whoa! How do we go back? So lots of storage. Up, down, both sides of the TV. Naturally the kitchen area with all of its storage over there. A ducted air conditioner with the four different vents to keep it nice and cool in here. We have our bathroom with a large medicine cabinet. Open this up. Lots of storage. Everything you need right there, handy. We have some space by the sink. Easy faucets to control. Electric outlet controls. Light switch. Storage. Never can have too many drawers to store things in, in the bathroom. A pocket door, which is handy. It doesn't bother you when you're going up and down, just slide it back and forth. I'm noticing the towel rack, which I like having a towel rack. And of course the fan, which is up there, and uh, three lights. Now we've got the shower area, a door that moves easily, shelf to set things on, a skylight. It's always nice to have that light in the shower area. This is a big shower area, lots of room. and. Uh, should accommodate just about anybody, no matter how tall you are. But check this out for storage. That's on a hydraulic uh, lift, by the way, so if you can do it with just a couple of fingers. But you've got all the storage underneath the bed. And isn't that nice to have? I mean, you know that you can put anything you need underneath there. Now we have the nightstand both sides of the bed. Lots of storage for uh, devices that you might have, or a CPAC if you have one of those. Lots of ledges to put things, and then down under an open space, whatever you'd like to store under there. It's all hooked up for a TV right here, and there's an empty space if you want to mount one. But uh, lots of room for a television, and then uh, all your 
plugs and your connections for your antenna and your cable right there. Let me give you a quick uh, run through the outside of this unit. Uh, you've got a full-size bumper hitch here. You could take a small trailer. You could uh, haul your e-bikes, all that sort of stuff. Uh, electrical hookup here. This is the slide, the one slide on this unit. And it is kind of like a, a living room slide. Which you can see it's not that big of a slide. Just about that big. But it gives you so much room inside. Come on down the rest of the way here. This is the um, fresh water fill. So you basically take that off and that's how you fill your fresh water tank. Love this pass-through storage. Look at this. This is all the way through to the other end. Hello. Hey, we could call this a second bedroom. Right. This is a second bedroom. <laughs> Just think of camping in a tent. Yeah, you could actually, you really could sleep under there. But think of all the room that you have for chairs and storage. This pass-through storage is uh, it's pretty nice. This is the dedicated wet bay for your black tank and your gray tank uh, drain. Uh, you can flush the tank and clean them through that. City water connection. This is where your winterizing controls are, and this is an outdoor shower. Two 30-gallon propane tanks on this. Lots of room. Underneath the front of the coach, spare tire. It's really easy to get at. You don't have to crawl underneath it. Uh, like some, uh, some fifth wheels, they're way underneath the, the back end of the coach. This is right here. Uh, batteries that come standard with AGM, uh, like everything, there's an upgrade for lithium as well as solar. Can you believe that this is 26 feet 3 inches? It's amazing. This is a trend that you are going to see a lot more of coming up at the Hershey RV show and then at the Tampa RV show and then at RV shows all around the country. But um, we're going to show another model just to give you an idea of how hot this trend is. We're going to look at another one that's also very short, very lightweight. Meet the Arcadia Select. It's 26 feet, 4 inches, and 6,800 pounds. The layout is pretty much the same as we saw in that Cougar Sport. The point being here, though, is that there is so much room in these fifth wheels, and they're so easy to tow. Why customers traditionally start out in travel trailer and work their way up to a fifth wheel is they're easier to tow. And if you think about it, if you've got about four foot of the of the fifth wheel in the bed of your truck versus a travel trailer, all of it is behind your truck and it's just easier to tow a fifth wheel. These are part of what you're going to see throughout the entire industry. Smaller, more compact, lightweight fifth wheels that can be towed by much lighter vehicles. You're Ford F-150s, your uh, GM uh, 1500 series. That's going to make a big difference in the industry. And it's going to make a big difference to a lot of campers who are going to experience the joys of fifth wheel travel. Mm hmm.